This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on Whiz Quiz. This is just our second show of the new year, the 2017 winter season of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. You're going to see Alan East take on Wayne Trace, and then a little bit later, Versailles will face off against Minster. We want to introduce you now to our players joining us from Allen East. We have Ben Lease, Tim Dunn, Mason Duvernay, and Kendra Webster. And Allen East is coached by Clay Casey. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Wayne Trace, we have Ethan Dunham, Joe Schmidt, Aiden Baker, and Chloe Stabler. Wayne Trace is coached by Teresa Holmeyer. All right, welcome to all of you. We have got 10 questions in this first round worth 10 points apiece. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. When you answer, please speak loudly and clearly. And if there's a name given, make it as complete as possible if you would. All right, here we go. Question one. Which ethnic or racial minority is the largest in the U.S. population? Ellen East. Hispanic? Hispanic is correct. Within five miles, how far is Alaska from Russia? Ellen East. 50 miles. You are correct. It's actually 55 miles, so you got that. All right, so what was the first state to abolish capital punishment in 1847? Yes, Wayne Trace. Ohio. Ohio is incorrect. So, Alan East, do you want to try it? Yes. Maryland. Maryland is also incorrect. Michigan is what we're looking for. All right, question four. What animal is most often mentioned in the Bible? Yes, Alan East. Donkey. Donkey is incorrect. Wayne Trace, do you want to try it? Yes. Eagle. Eagle is also incorrect. Both are good answers. The answer for real is sheep. All right, question five. The first shot of which war was shot at Lexington and Concord? Yes, Ellen East. The American Revolutionary War? That is correct. Name the largest desert in the United States. Time is up. The answer is Mojave. Question seven. Which U.S. city created the first subway system? Wayne Trace. New York. New York is incorrect. Want to try it, Alan East? Yes. Chicago? That's also incorrect. Boston is the answer there. All right, question eight. What does a constellation Draco resemble? Yes, Ellen East. A dragon. A dragon is correct. What does the term haw mean to a well-trained horse? Yes, Ellen East. Stop. Stop is incorrect. Wayne Trace, you've got a chance here. Yes. Slow down. Slow down is also incorrect. Turn left is the answer. All right, your final question in round one. Name the landscape photographer with initials AA who specialized in the American West. All right, time is up. The answer is Ansel Adams. Okay, we've come to the end of our first round and we have a score now, Wayne Trace. Got to get on the board yet. You have zero points. And then Alan East, you have 50. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All Family of Dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock-your-socks-off deal. 
Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu And by QB Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. We're moving into round two of our game between Allen East and Wayne Trace right now. Wayne Trace, you got to get on the board. You have no points at this uh, second. Allen East, you have 50. That means you're going to lead this next round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer. In relation to the start of Lent, when does Mardi Gras occur? Yes. Fat Tuesday. We will accept that. Very good. All right. Number two. To which state were the first slaves brought in 1619? Yes. Virginia. You are correct. Virginia. Give the number of days that a U.S. president has to veto a bill. Yes. 14 days. 14 is incorrect. 10 is the number. All right, who discovered the first vaccine for polio? The answer is Jonas Salk. And your final question in round two. What was the central issue in the temperance movement? Yes. Uh, alcohol. That is correct, alcohol. All right, Wayne Trace, are you already here? Okay. Give the term describing the U.S. meaning assimilation of all cultures. Yes. Melting pot. You're on the board, melting pot. Yes. Very good. Name the canal which opened in 1914 that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Yes. Panama Canal. Panama Canal is the answer. In what country can you find the Blarney Stone? Yes. Italy. Italy is incorrect. Ireland is the answer. What branch of government implements federal laws? Yes. Legislative. That is incorrect. Executive branch is the answer there. And your final question in round two. Give a January 2011 palindrome. Yes. 111.11. You got it, 111.11. All right, very good. Now let's move on to our final round of questions. These are 10 questions again. We're 10 points apiece. And our score, Wayne Trace with 15 points. Allen East with 55. All right. Which southern state was the first to secede from the Union? Yes, Allen East. South Carolina. That is correct, South Carolina. Name the state where the Red River Valley is located. Yes, Allen East. Arizona. Arizona is incorrect. Wayne Trace, you've got a chance here. Yes. California. That is also incorrect. The answer is North Dakota. All right, number three. In what year did the Mayflower land at Plymouth Rock? Yes, Wayne Trace. 1620. That is the answer. What is the largest freshwater lake in the United States? Ellen East. Lake Superior. You are correct. Question number five. Which Native American group or tribe were involved at the Wounded Knee Massacre? Wayne Trace. The Sioux. The Sioux is correct. Which U.S. Constitution amendment guarantees freedom of religion? Wayne Trace. First Amendment. First Amendment is correct. Where is John Hopkins University located? Wayne Trace. Chicago. That is incorrect. Alan East, you've got a chance. Yes. Washington, D.C. 
That is also incorrect. Baltimore, Maryland is the answer. All right, three questions remain in your game. In what book of the Bible is creation recorded? Yes, Wayne Trace. Genesis. Genesis is the answer. Give the state where Hot Springs National Park is located. Yes, Ellen East. Wyoming. Wyoming is incorrect. Wayne Trace, do you want to try this one? Yes. North Dakota. North Dakota is also incorrect. Arkansas is the answer. All right, teams, you have one question remaining in this game. Senator John McCain represents which state? Yes, Wayne Trace. Arizona. Arizona is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Wayne Trace and Alan East, and it was a good game. Wayne Trace, you got on the board and you made a good run for it. You had 65 points, but Alan East, 75 points wins it. Congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. And we'll be back with our next game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by UP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. wrapped up a tough game between Alan East and Wayne Trace. Only a 10 point difference there. Wayne Trace was 65 points. Alan East was 75. They will be moving on in competition eventually to take on the winner of this game between Minster and Versailles. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Versailles. We have James McClure, Amy Warden, Alexis York, and Hannah Grillio. Versailles is coached by Margie Trion. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Minster, we have Seth Reeves, Sable Hudson, Sarah Hewer, and Claire Borgerding. And Minster is coached by Lisa Schemmel. All right, this first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece and they are all up for grabs. So get those buzzers ready. Please speak loudly and clearly. If it's a name that you're answering, please be as complete as you can with the name, okay? Here we go, question number one. What former first lady had a newspaper column called My Day? Minster. Jackie Kennedy. That is incorrect. Versailles, you wanna try it? Yes. Eleanor Roosevelt. That is the answer. All right, name the pilot who first broke the sound barrier in a Bell X-1 plane. Yes, Minster. Uh, Amelia Earhart. That is incorrect. Versailles, you want to try? Do you know why we did Nothing? Chuck Yeager is the answer. Who did Johnny Carson, Tonight Show host, replace? All right, time is up. Jack Parr is the answer. What poet wrote, stopping by woods on a snowy evening? Yes, Minster. Robert Frost. That is correct. All right, for what type of hanging art is Alexander Calder famous? Yes. Chandeliers. Chandeliers is incorrect. Minster, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. Sculptures. Sculptures is incorrect. Mobiles is the answer. All right, number six. Name the official magazine publication of the Boy Scouts of America. Yes, Versailles. Uh, Scout Life. 
That is incorrect. Minster, you want to try? Yes. Boy's Life. That is the answer. Boy's Life is right. All right, who was the only president that did not live in the White House? Yes, that would be Versailles. George Washington. George Washington is correct. Who wrote the novels The Client and The Firm? Yes, Minster. John Grisham. That is correct. All right, two questions remain in round one. Alexander Hamilton was killed in a duel by whom? Yes, that would be Versailles. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is the answer. And your final question in round one. Double, double, toil and trouble is a line said by what characters from what play? Yes, Versailles. Uh, the witches from Macbeth. That is correct. Very good. All right. We've come to the end of round one, and here's our score. Versailles, you have 40 points. Minster with 30. That means Versailles. We're moving on to our second round. You have the first five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer. Name the California Island prison that was closed in 1963. Yes. Alcatraz. Alcatraz is correct. What U.S. author's pen name means water two fathoms deep? Yes. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is correct. Identify the state that is the Green Mountain State. Yes. Colorado. That is incorrect. Vermont is the answer. Give the G word that Edison said was 1% inspiration. Yes. Genius. Genius is correct. And finally, name the U.S. National, the first U.S. National Park created in 1872. Yes. Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone is it. All right. Moving over now to Minster for your five questions. Who had the largest signature on the Declaration of Independence? Yes. John Hancock. John Hancock is correct. What T word is Florida's chief industry? Yes. Tobacco. Tobacco is incorrect. The answer is tourism. What federal agency's motto is fidelity, bravery, integrity? Yes. FBI. FBI is correct. Give the nickname given to terrorist Theodore Kaczynski, prosecuted in 1993. Yes. The Red Scare. That is incorrect. The Unabomber is the answer. All right, you've got one question remaining in this round. In what year did the Titanic sink? Yes. Uh, 1865. <laughs> that is incorrect. The answer is 1912. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds, and here is a score. Minster with 40 points, for sales with 60. We have 10 questions left to go. We'll be back with those right after the break. <laughs> Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal, Road State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Right, we're heading into our third and final round between Versailles and Minster. Our score, Minster with 40 points, Versailles with 60. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. What P country did the U.S. invade in 1989? Yes, that would be Minster. Pakistan. Pakistan is incorrect. Versailles, do you want to try it? Darn. All right, the answer is Panama. 
All right, which president signed the first U.S. tax law into effect? For sales. Uh, Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson is incorrect. Minster, you've got a shot here. Yes. Theodore Roosevelt. Also incorrect. The answer is Abraham Lincoln. All right, question three. Earth Day began in 1970. What U.S. agency was also founded that year? For sales. The EPA. Could the, you expand the, the name? The Environmental Protection Agency. There you go. Very good. All right, number four. What Japanese car company was the first to have a factory in the United States? Yes, Minster. Honda. Honda is correct. On what body of water is the city of Galveston? Yes, for sales. The Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico is correct. To what Y word was Abby Hoffman usually referred in the 60s? Yes, for sales. Young. Young is incorrect. Minster, you want to try? Yes. Youthful. Youthful is also incorrect. Yippee is the answer. All right, number seven. Which U.S. president had a dog named Checkers? Yes, for sales. Theodore Roosevelt. That is incorrect. Minster, you've got a shot. Yes. Nixon. Expand the name. Uh, <laughs> Richard Nixon. There you go. Richard Nixon is it. All right. Question eight. What is the oldest tourist attraction in New York State? Yes, Ni Minster. Uh, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is correct. All right. Two questions remaining in your game. Woodrow Wilson said that this possession was a symbol of the arrogance of wealth. Minster. Money. Money is incorrect. Versailles, do you want to try? Yes. Car. The car is correct. All right. Final question in your game. According to the biblical book of Revelation, Jesus will return on what animal? Minster. A donkey. A donkey is incorrect. For sales, you want to try? Yes. A lion. A lion is also incorrect. A white horse is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game, and it was a good one. We have a final score here. Minster, 70 points. For sales, you have 90. Congratulations. You will be moving on in competition. Minster, thanks for playing along with us, and thanks for playing at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.